My name's Bob. I'm 12 years old, and this here's my family. Ma, Pa, my out-of-control sister Phyllis, and my little sister Ruth Ann looking for a larger-than-life role model. We moved to this town from Terre Haute, right on the edge by Mrs. Dowell. Who would have known we would have learned so much from her? My father's a preacher, and he's here to start a church, but not having much luck, especially with these rivals around. I was out helping him at the church. While walking home, ran into some trouble with some bullies who took me to the creek. They tried to drown me, but took pity on me and took me to Mrs. Dow's privy fence. I thought, oh no. Mrs. Dow found me. She saved me. She said she'd never tell. We didn't have no TV, so we started to walk through town. My sisters and me, we got scared when we heard something in the bushes, and we lost Ruth Ann's doll. Ruth Ann became Mrs. Dow's shadow. Mrs. Dow's had her pumpkin patch trying to keep the town bullies out of it. She watched it every night from her front porch, shooting at anything that came by. People just wouldn't let her, down, wouldn't let her be. They made up a story about a Kickapoo princess, and what do you know, Mrs. Dow went along with it. She made a lot of money out of that deal. Later, she said she found the remains and had my dad do a funeral service. That was my pa's big break. Filled the church from then on. It was time for the big homecoming parade. Phyllis was nowhere to be found, saying she was working on the floats. But we were all eager to watch. The homecoming float came by and the homecoming queen threw Ruth Ann's doll at her and yelled, Phyllis better watch herself. She was going to get her back. We didn't know what that meant at the time, but we soon would find out. Later that night, we found Phyllis had been in a wreck. She had been with that bully who tried to kill me. Man, was she going to get in some trouble. That was the homecoming queen's boyfriend. Mrs. Dowell took care of getting rid of those bullies and got them sent by train off to the service where she said that they should learn some manners. It was the Christmas season and we needed a tree, but no way was Mrs. Dowell going to spend a dollar twenty-five on any old tree from the IGA. She had a better plan. She had me driving. I was only twelve years old. I drove out of town and we found two trees and some greens for some wreaths. I was so excited. It was Christmas Eve and when we were all at the church, Mrs. Dow busts through the doors and says, There will be a Christmas wedding tonight. The homecoming queen and the town bully who just got back were to be married. Mrs. Dow was full of surprises. When we got home that night from church, Santa Claus had been there. Ruth Ann got a new doll carriage. But she turned to my father and said, Mrs. Dow got this, didn't she? And he said, Ruth Ann, and he, she said, but I'll just let her think Santa really is real. As Christmas came to an end, my whole family realized we have found a true home and a neighbor with great gifts to share.